Welcome back to Speedbuild Saturday. I'm your host, Fake Gamer Girl, and the way that I said this made this sound way more professional than it actually is. Today, if you couldn't read the title, which I am so sorry, are you okay? Is that every room is going to be a different horror film. I used to be a horror film super nerd mega fan, but then suddenly they started giving me intense anxiety, so I had to stop. It's like, I guess like that's the point of it. Like, congratulations, it worked. I don't know. If you watched the video from last Saturday, you know I'm just mentally ill. So. <laughs> and physically ill, actually, still. But it's October, which means it's spooky season, which means all of my content is going to be taking a spooky turn, which is precisely why I'm doing this video. I don't have to justify anything to you. I literally made a video where I was guessing feet and I didn't even explain it. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here, but first we're working on the exterior of the house and there are so many iconic horror houses, but I had to pick Monster House and I know Monster House isn't technically a horror film. Like it's like a scary movie for kids, but it wasn't even scary. It was just like an animated adventure that was spooky themed, but the house is literally a monster. How could I not have picked it? Oh, but the, the Overlook Hotel from The Shining is technically a monster. I don't care, actually. I'm not doing that. I'm not building, I'm building Monster House. That shit's a box. The thing is, Monster House is like unironically a good movie as well. And I feel like maybe it's me, or maybe I'm just really picky, but I think it's like really hard to find a good scary movie anymore, or a good spooky movie even. It doesn't even have to be scary. Like there's scary and then there's spooky. Like there's some horror films that aren't necessarily scary but they're good movies. I fuck with that. That's good. I feel like it's hard to find a scary, scary movie. And then even at that, hard to find a good, scary, scary movie. There's so many of them now. I just, I, I get it now. I get the ghost bad. Ooh. Here's the thing though. I'll be watching a movie and I won't be scared during it. But then afterwards when the movie's over, I'll just disassociate and I'll be like, I feel weird. <laughs> Nothing's even happening. It's just like people on a screen that are acting. And my brain's like, we are going to die now here. Feel uncomfortable. I love scary movies. Anyway, we're done with the exterior and now we're gonna move into the interior and now obviously every single room is gonna be a different horror film and for the living room, I've decided to do the ring or ringu because I'm doing the Japanese version because um, like the English version of these movies don't exist to me. Anytime there is an English remake of a Japanese horror film, I'm just like, why? Here is a filet mignon and then here is microwavable french fries. That's the difference between those two to me. But the ring is also one of those movies where it's definitely of its time because I feel I feel like if you watched it back then, it would have scared you, but from like a modern lens, it's like, it's okay. It's all right. Like this is something that would have given me severe trauma as a child, but as an adult, it's pretty dope, I guess. Especially because we don't do VHS tapes anymore. We don't go and like purchase media physically. Like the modern equivalent of this now is there's like a virus in your Netflix and you're like, oh God, I hope I don't get the virus. But the idea of like one singular VHS tape circulating around that kills people, I don't know. Very very dope idea, very scary. There was a modern equivalent of this actually. I don't remember the name of it, but I remember my boyfriend and I were sitting down to watch a movie and it was like a documentary. And it was like a documentary about a movie that every time somebody watched it, people died like horrifically like two weeks later. And I don't know if it was real. I don't know if it was a mockumentary or if it was like an actual documentary. And they were talking about like, yeah, when we premiered this movie, that movie theater set on fire. And then this couple went and watched the, the secret reel of the movie and then they died in a car crash. And then they were like talking about how like horrific this is and they were like now presenting the movie we were just talking about i made my boyfriend turn it off i said like i don't care i don't care if it's not real why are we i'm not playing those games <laughs> i don't believe in ghosts i'm not a religious person but i am like extremely superstitious it's not even fucking funny like i'm sure you could watch it and be fine because it was like on amazon like if this movie could kill people they wouldn't put it on amazon but like if we watched it and then we died two weeks later i'd be i'd be like we're fucking stupid they told us they literally said <laughs> dude i'm out of we don't play those games that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, moving on now to the kitchen. And I was really thinking, what is an iconic kitchen in a horror film or a horror film that revolves around the kitchen? I couldn't think of anything. And then I remembered my favorite slasher of all time, Scream. The opening scene is like the most iconic fucking thing in the world. So I just remade the kitchen from Scream. I love Scream. I love slashers. Slashers are my favorite. They're not even scary. They're just fun in a very dark and twisted way. And I don't know why. And I'm not gonna delve into the psychology of that. Sometimes we're a little sick and that's it. Me, I'm chronically sick. So go figure, right? Iconic scene, iconic
iconic movie. It's so meta. It's so fucking stupid. I love it. And also Ghostface. Need I say more? It kind of annoyed me because I don't know what the rest of the kitchen looks like. It's really hard. I don't know if you've ever tried this, but it's really, really hard to recreate something from a movie or a game in The Sims when it comes to builds because they don't just give you the floor plan. You can't just look up what is this corner of this room look like? What is this corner of this room look like? You have to watch the thing and hope they shoot an angle pointing at the other side of the room. And most of the time, because of the 180 rule, they won't do that. So you kind of just have to make it up. And I was a little upset by this, especially because the other side of this kitchen is a living room. I'm not doing that. So like one side of the room is accurate to the film and the other side isn't. But like, who gives a shit actually? You know what you might give a shit about though? That every single week on this channel, we have a build competition where I give you guys a prompt, you guys build it, upload it to the gallery, and then I review those builds in a video. Using the hashtag that shows up on the screen right now, I want you guys to build me something demented. It is spooky season. I want it to be horrifying. I want it to make me feel like I don't want to be in that build anymore. You guys are really good at that. I, I trust you. I don't. The deadline to submit your builds is going to be Saturday, October 12th. So get your builds in by then and please double check the spelling of the hashtag because if you don't spell it right, I'm not going to see it. And if I don't see it, I'm not going to review it. Therefore, it won't be in the video. And then you guys are going to be really mad at me and send me death threats again. We've been through this, Bessie. We have now moved on to the first bathroom in this house. There are two bathrooms in this house, even though there's one bedroom. I don't know. You make it make sense because I won't. And like, there are a lot of iconic bathrooms in horror films. And the first one I could think of was Psycho. I mean, that's kind of the only thing we remember about Psycho. This was a teeny bathroom, so I couldn't recreate it perfectly, but I decided to make it completely black and white because the film wasn't black and white. And like, yeah, that was it. That, nothing important here. And we've basically moved on to the next one. Anyway, this is the second bathroom and this one I am like the most proud of. Actually, second most proud of. I think the last room in this build is probably my favorite, but what's another iconic bathroom other than The Shining? The Shining literally has two iconic bathrooms, so I decided to pick the spookiest one, which was the avocado green one. Here's something you might not know about me. I am a cinephile. I love movies. I love older movies, and if you know anything about me is that I don't fuck with Stanley Kubrick. I don't like him. I don't care that he's a visionary. If you have to abuse your actors to get the movie you want, you're a shit director, actually. But here's the thing about The Shining. The Shining is not a scary movie. It's an uncomfortable movie. I think I watched The Shining at a really good time, which was when I was in high school and it was like two in the morning and I was by myself. And I was like, you know what? I'll just watch this because I love movies. I'm going to watch a movie. And I felt so deeply uncomfortable. And the most uncomfortable I ever felt in The Shining was this bathroom scene. And it's not because there was a naked old lady. It was just because I, the atmosphere, the music, everything just made me feel severely uncomfortable. Like something bad was going to happen. And that was kind of the point. So you know what? This scene slays. Stanley Kubrick, however, does not slay. Oh dude, I was yapping. I didn't even realize we're on the next room. We're on to the bedroom and obviously I had to go with The Exorcist. There's no other iconic bedroom, like at all. I really like The Exorcist as a movie. Again, didn't scare me. I just, I don't feel scared by older movies. I know that a lot of people get really mad when you say that, but it's just like, I was born in a different time. I can see the practical effects. I know what they're doing. I think it's kind of cheesy sometimes and that's why I like them. Doesn't mean it's, it's scary though. You know, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. And I felt not uncomfortable during The Exorcist. Actually, I was having a lot of fun. It was a fun movie for me. <laughs> I don't know. But here's the thing. If you've grown up religious, and I grew up very, very religious, things that have to do with demons and devils still kind of get me sometimes. I don't know what it is. I think it's just like a deep-seated, like, I think the horror that comes with that is it's something that you cannot stop. Especially if you are religious, you know, you can't just get rid of it. You know what I mean? Like, ghost face, you can just, like, push him off a roof or something. You know what I mean? But when there's something that is literally an impossible force that even you as a mere mortal can do nothing about, that's what makes it scary. So I kind of fuck with the whole demons and devils and ghosts kind of thing. Ghosts, sometimes I don't know because there's always like, oh, you can banish them back into the spirit realm because if they're stuck in the in-between or something, I don't know. Ghosts are kind of like meh. Meh. I think ghosts can have better scares, but the concept of them is not as scary as something like a demon or a devil where they just exist and there's nothing you could do about it. Anyway, we moved on to the last room, which is a dance room. And I wanted to recreate the dance room from Suspiria. I actually really fuck with Suspiria, the remake. Suspiria is one of those films where you're either gonna absolutely love it or fucking hate it. Like there's no in between with it. And I wouldn't say that it's necessarily a scary film. There are some really, really good scenes in there, but I think the meaning behind it is what really resonated with me. You know what it is? It's a movie for the girlies. Get your girlies together and watch it. I think you'd like it or not. I don't know. Let me know what your favorite movie is in the comments. Here's a montage to show off the builds and oh.
Thank you.